Allison, what can we expect today? So today's going to start us in a new pattern, which means more active weather. Hopefully you enjoyed all the sunshine and the blue sky over the weekend. That's going to be changing today. Now, the good news is we still have periods of dry weather today, especially this morning and early afternoon, but you will notice some increasing clouds across the area. It's still not too bad right now. Just this one little band of cloud cover that's moving across our region, and that's about it. A lot of the area may still be able to peek outside and still see a few stars and planets in the sky. Pulling back a little bit further, you can see this line right here in far northeastern portions of Alabama. That's denser cloud cover that's heading our way. And then back even a little bit further to the southwest, that rain and storms ongoing in Louisiana and Mississippi. That's the system that's going to lift up into our area, bringing us some scattered shower chances this afternoon. And then another way for tonight. It's certainly not going to be a washout. Some of that heavier rain is not going to approach our area till tomorrow night. So let's just run through all that with future cast. Here's Monday morning at 9 a.m. You'll notice still a lot of the area, not a whole lot of cloud cover. So I do think we'll start the day mostly sunny skies. Those cloud gradually increasing, becoming partly sunny for about noontime and then eventually mostly cloudy. Here's Monday at about 3.30. So today, I think after 3 o'clock, that's when we can start to see a few scattered showers moving into northeast Alabama and far northwest Georgia. The other thing to point out, notice all those red lines from the south. It will get breezy today. Wind gets potentially about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And here's a few of those little green blips moving across the area from the afternoon into the evening time. Another wave will happen tonight from about 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. as we're seeing that scattered activity pushing across our area. At that point in time, we may even get a few rumbles of thunder, but nothing to be too concerned about. Once we get past about 2 a.m. on Tuesday morning, most of that is out of here. And then looking ahead to the day tomorrow, I think we'll even have some breaks and sunshine. It's going to be a warm day getting up into the low 70s. And once again, all of that south wind fueling up wind gusts again for your Tuesday. Here comes that widespread heavier rain that I was talking about. So this is Tuesday night. All of this pushing across our area. Within this, the potential for some embedded thunderstorms. Now, there is a low end severe risk tomorrow, mainly for our far western communities. The bigger threat will be in Middle Tennessee and further to the west of that area. Now, what we're going to be looking at then for the overnight hours, probably more likely is the, just the potential of ponding of water on roads. So do be careful driving Tuesday night all the way into Wednesday morning. Once we get to the kind of the waking hours of Wednesday morning or maybe the daylight hours of Wednesday morning, most of that's going to be be out of here and the rest of the day on Wednesday a little bit cooler but not too much cooler and also a few breaks in the clouds. So here's then a breakdown of all those rain chances today at 40% Tuesday and Wednesday at 70% but the bulk of that's happening Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. A little bit of a drop down for Thursday at 40%. That's primarily for our communities that are to the north of Chattanooga. And then wide uh, spread rain sweeping through across the area for the day on Friday. Saturday does look drier and then a few scattered showers possible again on Sunday. So yes, it's going to be a wet week ahead. How much rainfall are we looking at? Well, this is just Tuesday night through Wednesday morning. That potential certainly can see areas of just a trace for our far southern Georgia communities all the way up to even a few streaks of about two inches. So probably a good take home point just for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, about one to two inches. We'll add that additional rainfall on top of that for Thursday and Friday. We could easily see across our area two to four inches, a little bit less possible for our far southern communities, and even a little bit more for a few of those areas, especially in Tennessee, as those waves move through. Now let's talk about those temperatures once more. So again, a big spread this morning, 29 in Murphy, 51 in Altamont. So if you're east of Chattanooga, east of I-75, even into the Dayton area, a little bit chillier start to the day. And then here's another look at that day planner. So increasing clouds eventually becoming mostly cloudy to overcast skies, but you'll get some sunshine this morning. 58 at noon, 63 at three o'clock. It will be a mild day, topping out at 64 degrees, with those scattered shower chances. And then tonight, 53, yes, those showers, especially from about 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. And then looking at to tomorrow, 72, mainly dry during the daytime, but it'll be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. That's when we're gonna have the most widespread rain and storms developing. Overall, pretty mild temperatures for this week with highs in the 60s to 70s. Friday, a little bit of a drop. And then remember, drier weather for Saturday. Not a bad forecast, Allison. Thank you so much. Yep.